Oh, my God, Brian, I went to a baby rave last night, dropped a Flintstones chewable. It was a purple Betty. I was flying. I was up till like, like, I, I don't even know how late. Like, when I came home, the mentalist was still on. Like, that's how late. Morning, family. Anyone needs me, I'll be out in the yard using my new riding mower. A riding mower? For God's sake, stop making all these frivolous purchases. You just blew all that money hiring that English to raccoon translator. <laughs> Don't need a translator for that one. Tell him to come back when he's ready to act like an adult. Hey, what's up, Quagmire? Oh, there's the sound of the birds. I thought they all disappeared because all I could hear was a lawnmower. Oh, and what's that? The wind in the trees. Good, that still exists. What are you doing there? Planting some flowers? Hey, look, why don't you go bother Joe, huh? I can't. He's in Vegas for the weekend, seeing that handicapped share impersonator. If I could turn back time if I could find a way Yeah! We all want to turn back time! This is the biggest city ovation I've ever seen! Damn it, where the hell did I put that? What are you looking for, Brian? That steak bone you gave me last night. I can't remember what the hell I did with it. What, didn't you bring it outside? Ah! Holy crap, Quagmire, you alright? No, I'm not alright! My head's gushing blood, you idiot! Take your hand away. Oh, boy. All right, hold still, Quagmire. Ah! Oh, my God, a piece of your brain came out. Yeah, well, that can't be good. Well, maybe it's not so bad. I can feed it to my pet zombie. Here you go. Yeah, you're hungry, aren't you? He was a rescue. When I found him, he was just walking face first into a chain link fence downtown. All right, almost done here, Glenn. There we are, all finished. Well, oh, look at this. Look what happened. Ah -ha! Well, by the laws of comedy, you and I have to be roommates now. That's hilarious, Doc. All right, here we go. Now, I'm going to prescribe a course of antibiotics and some painkillers and... Hey, Elmer. Hey. She sucks. Okay, Quagmire, before we get your prescription, let's grab some bandages. God, this is such an East Coast pharmacy. How are we going to find gauze and bandages in the middle of all this crap? Uh, I think he keeps them next to the thousand-piece puzzle of a lobster trap. I don't see it. You mean next to the Kadima paddles or next to the basic black sweatshirt with no writing on it? No, I think they're over there between the rain ponchos and the cap guns and just below the balsa wood gliders and the net bag of flip-flops and a beach pail. Above the set of jacks? Yes, above the jacks and the bicentennial playing cards and across from the giant cage with the beach balls next to the wiffle ball bats and the spark spitting cars. I don't... Oh, next to the wax bottles of weird juice. Yes, behind the plastic bag of Mexican soldiers from the Alamo and the super elastic bubble plastic. Oh, yeah, I got him. Hey, Mort, how's it going? Oh, it's awful, Peter. What? What's the matter? The pharmacy's going under. I can barely pay my bills. I can't even afford the real pharmacy music. That's just me up there. Listen. If this is it, ooh-ah, please let me know. If this ain't love, you better just say so. If this is it, they say I've got Jewish honey in my voice. Jewish honey is mucus. But I thought you made a lot of money here. I used to, but it's all gone downhill since Muriel died. She could get away with overcharging people because they were always mentally undressing her and then redressing her once they saw the horrible mess underneath. But in that interval, she robbed them blind. <laughs> Ooh. Well, look, uh, I don't know, maybe there's something we can do to help you drum up some business. You know, get the word out. Like what? Hey, you just leave that to us. Is opening and closing the cash register a bunch of times helping business yet? No. Okay, then we'll do other stuff. <laughs>